Hello and thanks for joining us. Holly Shields here reporting for Calkine Media. Today's topic, an educational one, liquidity. What is a liquidity trap? A liquidity trap is an economic scenario in which there is a contradiction in the economy despite very low interest rates. Under a liquidity trap, monetary policy fails to work as people hold on to their savings even in the presence of low interest rates. An expansionary monetary policy is applied to increase the money supply in the economy and to encourage spending. However, under a liquidity trap, the transmission effect of monetary policy does not take place and is rendered ineffective. The situation of liquidity traps is marked with low interest rates, slow economic growth and low inflation. So what causes a liquidity trap? Once the interest rate becomes too low, the demand for money becomes horizontal. This means that demand for money would not be affected by changes in interest rates beyond this point. This horizontal portion of demand curve is called the liquidity trap. Individuals believe that since interest rates are too low, they will eventually rise. They believe that buying bonds would mean incurring a loss. A liquidity trap usually occurs during an economic recession when people are afraid to spend money. Even when the government policies favor spending and are aimed at promoting consumption, consumers do not have enough confidence in the economy to utilize this increased liquidity. Therefore, the monetary policy fails to get utilized. Thus, the intended use of monetary policy is not able to get fulfilled due to the loss of confidence by consumers. During slow economic growth, people are uncertain about the timeline of the recession. Thus, they prefer to hold on to their cash instead of spending it. How does a liquidity trap affect the economy? A liquidity trap may lead to deflation in the economy which might persist for long. Low inflation is an ideal situation, however, if it persists for long, it may affect the interest rates. As interest rates increase, investment decreases and consumption might fall further. Thus, the economy might contract further. A rise in interest rates means people are unable to repay the loans they have taken. Thus, higher defaults on loans lead to an increase in non-performing assets with banks. This can further intensify the recession and reduce economic growth. Thus, a trap can set in, from which it becomes progressively more difficult to get out. This has been Holly Shields for Calkine. Thank you for watching.